All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, this last review for a film that I didn't even know it came out already last Friday, apparently, is the 2024 Disney Plus original drama film called Young Woman and the Sea is available on Disney Plus officially and is in select theaters. And it is also based on a true story uh, slash book that was based on a true story. Um, but here's a plot. The story of competitive swimmer Trudy Elder, who in 1926 was the first woman to ever swim across the English Channel. Now here are some of the casts. This was definitely a very powerful, inspirational film with such a heartfelt story and, of course, plenty of stuff to piss you off because it was the 1920s and it's around female empowerment and stuff. So you get a lot of that. Uh, well, I'll show you. There there was a, a back then, apparently I forgot about this, was in the swimsuit uh, uh, era, or if, if you would call that a one-piece suit, they would they had cops specifically would measure women's um the leg length of the uh the the, the short skirts or whatever you would call them at the bottom now uh, if i haven't put up pictures right there but the editing transitions and editing all, all around was fantastic and next level especially how they did the age time jumps daisy really has such a fantastic performance throughout this film. I never understood the strong dislike for her acting, uh, especially after watching her in the 2023 film, The Marsha's King's Daughter, even more so after this film. Uh, she did a fantastic job in that. From little of I've seen her in outside of Star Wars, um, com especially compared to Star Wars, she has so much to work with in that one film uh, the Marsh's daughter, and then even in this one, and she did fantastic in this, in my very strong opinion. And again, I don't understand the hate for her acting. People, I have seen plenty of people say that she's the equivalent of the uh, no emotion, dead face type of thing of uh, of uh, Kristen Stewart. I strongly disagree with that. She definitely has emotion there. I've seen it. Uh, definitely. And ropes you into her character, especially specifically in this one. Um, honestly, the film had a little filler to it, but other than that, it was such a great and powerful film. Here's my rating. I'll come back to my final thoughts. So you know it's a good film when you can make this Viking. Have goosebumps and strongly fighting back tears of joy, not of sadness. That's a little more easier to be honest with you for me. So this is technically, I don't see this very much where it's such a good segment that it, it built a constant build of it. Uh, and then the length of it, that it, the joy of it, it's just at the end, it's just so much for relief of, I, I just, I just wanted to tear up. Honestly, after the, the I finished the film, I had to take a a good 20, 30 minutes uh, a, a release of brief a briefness to um, you know this this let everything sink in, get my stuff together. It was that type of film, and it's definitely not what I was expecting going into this. So I do obviously highly recommend this film. But as always, leave your guys' thoughts down below. Uh, till the next time, remember I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.